Hello everyone, welcome to the blog Automation Home. Today I am going to demonstrate automating the AngularJS application using Protractor. For this, the prerequisite uh, Node.js is installed on your machine, Node.js and N NPM. For this, uh, you can go through this uh, link for the installation process of uh, Node.js and NPM. So you can uh, here you can find the information like how what uh, the procedure for installing the Node.js and NPM. So once it is done, uh, you need to install the protector on your machine. So once the Node.js is installed, you can verify whether the Node.js and NPM are working fine. So open the command prompt and enter the type uh, npm hyphen version and node hyphen version. Here you can see the uh, versions. Uh, so it means that Node.js and NPM have been uh, installed properly. So once it is done, uh, you need to install the protector. So let me see if the protector is not installed earlier. So let me type something protector in my common prompt. So it says that protector is uh, not recognized. So you may, it means that protector is not uh, installed on your machine. For that is uh, you can run this command for installing the protector on your machine. So. So uh, this will uh, install the protector packages on your machine. So it will take some time for installing the protector. So uh, this is installing the protector. Now the protector has uh, installed. Uh, there are some uh, Python uh, related error. Uh, you can ignore these uh, errors and uh, just command type the command protector. Uh, yeah so there is no technical error uh, it means that uh, protect has been installed successfully uh, let me start with executing one of the simple uh, program okay now so before that uh, you need to install the web driver for this protector okay let's uh, start without run the program without installing the protector just i'm copying the since uh, it is a basic level program uh, just i'm um, copying this one in the notepad and uh, i'm executing this one so you can execute this program you can run this program on any javascript uh, editor like webshom or any editor javascript editor but right now i'm uh, uh, noting the i'm writing the JavaScript code in the notepad plus plus and saving this file as a to do spec.js so what actually uh, this does is uh, it all these are nothing but the expect this are nothing but the uh, behave, these are the concepts of uh, behavioral driven development BDD framework defined by the uh, as part of the Jasmine framework. Uh, so you can click on this uh, URL uh, for like what is the other uh, <coughs> methods for the Jasmine. You can go through it uh, for understanding more understanding on the Jasmine. So here uh, what it will do is it will open. Let me open this one in the Firefox browser. or as uh, here in the Chrome browser itself. So when it is opened, uh, so by dot model, this are not, nothing but by dot model. And so if you see in the uh, web driver, there is no methods like model or repeater. So these are the methods defined as part of the uh, protector and send keys click, these are the methods api methods which are used uh, api methods of the web driver which a uh, protector uses so web driver uh, protector internally uses the web driver api methods so first uh, we will execute this program uh, we will run this program and uh, we will go uh, in depth of what each uh, method will be doing so this i have copied it from uh, here uh, angular.github uh, this url and 
the next one is this is nothing but the spec file and the next one is the configuration file uh, just i'm copying this one as it is so we will go uh, in depth like what uh, each of the things will be doing so this is the config.js saving this one the same name so uh, it's not like uh, we can give any name it's not like uh, you can you should give only conf.js you can save them with any meaningful any uh, meaningful name just i'll save them as a conf.js and uh, here when i am so this is conf.js is nothing like uh, it's like a main method so if you are uh, if you have already have a knowledge on java so if you want to run any class if you want to run any method or anything it should be called from the main method similar it's like a uh, main thing so you need to execute the conf.js the conf.js will in turn uh, call this uh, <coughs> uh, the uh, commands present in the to dispatch.js so how does it know so here um, as part of this text we need to describe the name spec name spec.js and this is nothing but the web driver url so let's execute the command let's see uh, it's is it works or not just i'm mean, opening the command before that uh, just i'm seeing the files are present yeah here two files are present just i'm running this command Uh, here uh, it's showing the error something like okay so let's see what's the error so uh, it's uh, like it's trying to call 127.0.0.1 and 344 uh, port number 344 so here um, there is uh, nothing uh, running on the port number 344 for web driver so when you first time run this one you need to have a web driver uh, configured so just copy this command so wantedly i have uh, not uh, executed this command earlier so that uh, we can know what is the is it required or not so what is the purpose of this one so once you execute this one so web driver manager uh, will be installed it will take some time so here it's taking the so here you can see the 2.48 here you can see the selenium web driver something 2.48 standard server jar is installed on your machine so once the uh, installation process of the web driver is done so installing nothing but uh, it will install the sum of the jar files selenium standalone jar files afterwards uh, you just run this command for starting the web driver server so uh, this will take some time so so here you can see the uh, process id 3068 and the selenium server has been launched selenium standalone server has been launched ok let's uh, open the command prompt Now the selenium server is uh, started and running. Let's open the and uh, execute this command. Now you can see. Uh, the browser will be launched and it will uh, run the protector automation script on your machine so here uh, you can see the commands and uh, it will be run the chrome browser yeah uh, it's take first first time it will take some time so it is launching the chrome browser
so uh, here it is uh, typing some test and it's adding and uh, verifying uh, it's added or not uh, let me open the firefox and uh, let you know so here it will add some text earlier it has only uh, two items are present pan and two so once it is added it will click an add button and it will verify this uh, there are three items uh, are present or not the same thing so for that one uh, let me if you step by step how, we, how it is doing so uh, here if you see it is opening the page initially the page it has been opened just i am showing the same thing in the firefox browser and afterwards it is trying to access the element to do list dot to do text to do list dot to do text is nothing but this one let me search over here yeah ng model ng model here like we have input type class i mean if you are working with a uh, web driver we will identify by id class here similarly since the application is a uh, web application is developed using a uh, angular js so it identifies using ng model so nothing but input type equal to class or id similarly i am identifying with ng model is this one so nothing but here boy that model the model uh, this will identify this element and the click method send kiss method this is the web driver api method it calls the web driver api method to enter the text and afterwards uh, so once uh, it is done it is clicking on the add button so add button and it is using the by dot class value equal to add button so here uh, for clicking on this button it is using the css this is uh, this is present is this uses the web driver css by dot css locator once it is added so another element will be add let me click on s once it added it will be added to the to the to do list so once it is added so it's checking the size is three or not one two three now the size will be three since uh it is three and it is checking so if it is three or three or not if it is not three then it will throw in error right uh thanks for watching the video have a nice day